Hey y'all, I'm Abram Hunter, and I'm really excited to share with you this painting titled Remember Me. A few years ago, I was going through a bit of an, a phase of artist block. And uh, artist block, for those of you that don't know it, is to where you've basically used your creative juices to the max and they're kind of drained. And so you're just like, I should be able to paint. For some reason, I can't this morning. So I went for a walk and, and uh, you know, I was back home and I was just taking a shower. And uh, I closed my eyes to, to put my soapy head underneath the water. And almost miraculously, this painting just appeared in my third eye. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I closed my eyes back in to see if it was still there, and it was. And so I basically just studied it really closely. And I was like, man, I don't have the stuff for reference f for that. So I ran to the, the grocery store and got some grapes and bread. And then I ran to, uh, I think it was uh, Michael's or it was a Hobby Lobby, and got uh, the clay to make one of these old oil lamps that they used back in Jesus' time. And uh, I made a stop at the quick stop, I got some Gatorade, and uh, then I had this wine glass at home. And I sat it up in my studio and uh, turned the lights off and then put the, the wax in the uh, lamp and lit it up and it was just like I had seen in my mind. This is probably the only painting I've ever done that turned out exactly like I was hoping for it to. So let me explain to you the meanings behind everything. Jesus spoke to his disciples on this earth, I am the vine and you are the branches, abide in me. And so the grapes remind us to abide in him. This is kind of reminiscent of a communion supper, like the last supper, but it's a still life. So the message behind it isn't exactly, you know, you don't see Jesus having Last Supper with the disciples, but it's like a little portion of that, that evening he spent with his disciples. He, he also spoke, I am the bread of life. And so the bread, broken bread that Jesus is broken, blessed, is reminiscent of his body and the bread of life. The oil lamp um, is that he is the light of the world. And if you look at the light, the radiance from it kind of reminds you of the light from the Star of Bethlehem, the way that the halos divide out. In the cracks in the wall, you see this, this image, um, um, this kind of um, depressed shadow of Calvary. There's the three crosses, and it reminds you of the suffering that he went through just moments later. So you have his birth and then his death. You're reminded of his entire life. Whenever I uh, set up the still life on the wall that I had plastered and made, um, there was this like little, uh, uh, the light going through the, the water kind of made this little hourglass and it reminds us, you know, our time on earth is limited, but to make every day count. And then in the, the Gatorade filled wine glass, the wine glass is modern day to remind us to, that, that this isn't just a dated past thing. We should we should practice this today, it's, it's relevant now. But what was even more special about it is whenever I set it up, there was this like little reflection of light and I could see myself in the wine glass as clear as day. So in the wine glass, my favorite part of the painting and what makes this one of my absolute favorite paintings, you can see Jesus giving me a hug in the reflection as if he's right there in the room with me while I'm painting it. So I hope you all enjoy this painting. It's one of my favorites, I've had fun explaining it to you. I hope it blesses your home and hopes to remind you of uh, what God did for us. God bless you.